the mosquito has been equipped with an exceptionally sensitive sense of temperature. It can even sense a 1 1,000th change in degree of temperature. Since its perception is not dependent on light, the mosquito can even find a blood vessel in a dark room. Once it finds a blood vessel, it chooses a point by means of its proboscises. The mosquito does not pierce the skin with pressure as is often assumed, but with its top and bottom jaw which hold the teeth. Like a saw, it cuts the skin through moving backward and forward, and inserts its stinger into the blood vessel from the open tear. Its stinger, which resembles an injection syringe, is protected by a casing. During blood absorption, the sheathing is shed from the stinger. A big problem here is the clotting of blood. Nevertheless, by virtue of another reason, the human body has been created with the ability to form blood clots. Thanks to it, a person will not die of blood loss when an area of his her body bleeds and the blood will stop leaking by forming a clot at some later point. If the blood was to clot during the mosquito's consumption, then the mosquito would not be nourished. However, the mosquito takes precaution as it prevents its prey's blood from clotting by infusing a liquid which prevents the blood from clotting into the vessel through the hole that it has pierced. This is the enzyme that causes the itchiness. Now we ask, even nurses, who underwent training for years, have not been able to find the blood vessel and have injected a shot into the wrong place many times. Despite this, a mosquito that has never been trained will never lose track of its destined mark. Who has educated the mosquito 